Hello, this is Greg Allison with Green Greg's Garden and Worm Farm. This is Pea Shoot Grow Day number six. And guess what? We got a lot going on. I mean, look at this. These pea shoots are like he men. They're pushing these trays up and they're about to throw, throw them over. They're strong. And as I mentioned before, in uh, I think my, the fourth video, sometimes I grow peas and sun shoots together. And let's see what we got going on here. We have some tall pea shoots. Holy smoke, those guys are way up there. So guess what? We're going to have to uh, give them some water and then we're going to turn the trays over. I mentioned I turn the trays over once they get to a certain height. Well, guess what? They're there. And these guys look like they're really thirsty. So I've already pumped up the trusty, dusty, higher quality uh, pumper here. And we'll give it a go, about 20 seconds, and see what we got. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 4, 1,005, 1,006, 7, make sure you cover everything, 1,009, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and a 20. Sanchez. Alrighty. Let's see if we got enough water. I can see the little hole where I've stuck my finger in here before. Tilt it up a little bit. Let the water come to the knuckle. Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it do. Yeah, it do. Actually, I'm going to add just a wee little bit of water. Just a wee bit. Not much. Peas are thirsty. I could have sprayed it more from the top. That might have been better because the roots are a little bit spiky in here. And some have said the spiky roots are a sign that more water is needed down here. Well, I'm going to water these two. Now, here's the funny thing. These were on top. These were on bottom. Now, what I can show you is the guys on bottom are taller. And the guys on top, unfortunately, got a little light, so they're getting a little greener. These guys are taller than those guys. They really love to do push-ups. They love it when they can push up. They're taller, stronger than these guys. Now think about that. Just like a muscle man gets bigger when he works out, so do the peas, apparently. Now I can't, it'll take a lot more to prove that definitively, but I've been seeing that repeatedly in uh, our grow days here. And all along, so let me spray these other guys. reason I've been having some trouble on my sun shoots. Uh, late they're not sometimes sprouting as well. And my neighbor who gets them another from another actually from Canadian sources had problems with them. So I'll have to investigate that. However, these guys are looking nice and pretty. Really nice and pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover them. do so just like I said before. The object is to let them grow in the darkness a little bit longer. Now, as you already know, these are six days old, almost a week. So they spent most of the time on top shelf growing in the dark. This is what I'm telling you, you can grow uh, microgreens and those shells with the lights, they don't need a week in there really. So that's why you can grow so many in the shelves within a week. Now look at there. Now they got room to expand. They're going to keep hunting the light. That's why I cut them like this. Keep them in the dark. They're going to grow taller, looking for that light. And in a couple, three days, boom, they'll be ready to go into the light and they'll green up real fast and keep growing. But uh, this really makes them pop growth wise. Now, some people, some shelves actually like golden pea shoots. And so what you do for golden pea shoots is you just leave them covered and they don't get to chlorophyll, they don't go green. So they got a little different flavor and texture to them, and that's what some shelves like. So just something to keep in mind. Anyway, you will notice I've got a whole series of grow days before this, since this is this is grow day number six, 
and also uh, there are going to be many more grow days to come after this. You know, probably up to grow day 12. So, in order to see the entire series, and especially the ones coming up, uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel and bang the bell for update notifications. And you'll get notifications for all the videos as they're released. And the other videos are released too. I put out a lot of stuff and a lot of good stuff coming up to include uh, gardening this spring. I have a lot on that in the springtime in my raised beds. I will have aquaponics videos coming up, worm farm videos coming up, and many other things. So uh, thank you for watching. Bang the bell. Subscribe and bang the bell. Thank you. Bye.